Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Gummies. Today I have a special guest. This is my dad. Hi guys. Great Papa being Pizza. Here. Right here. Today I invited him on because he was visiting and I got so many requests to do something Disney related mm -hmm. for Frozen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Biggest Disney fan ever. Has every movie. I am. What's your favorite? Well, right now it's Frozen. It's, well, yeah, it's kind of a real tearjerker. Oh. But it's a favorite. So today we are going to be making Olaf Frozen treats. So what you do is take your finger, spin it in a circle, and we're going to say, let's get started. I'm ready. Okay. Let's, let's get, get started. started. The things you will need will be flour, vanilla ice cream, sugar cookie mix, or you can use your favorite sugar cookie recipe. This calls for one third cup of butter and one egg, hot fudge, chocolate melts. I'm using dark chocolate melts two cookie cutters. This is a tear-shaped cookie cutter, and this one's a little heart cookie cutter. You'll also need... Well, we need six uh, dessert glasses, or shot glasses. They do look like shot glasses for whiskey yeah. whiskers over here. Check out my dad's stash, best stash ever. You should give this video a like if you like my dad's stash. We also need a ice cream scoop, mm -hmm. a pair of scissors, yep. rolling pin, wax paper, and a cookie baking sheet. Yep, that's it. Now let's put it all together. Let's get to baking. Yeah, let's get to baking. Okay, I'll let you pour that in the bowl. Okay. And I'll lift this up. Okay, pour that in there. And this is sugar cookie mix. It's yeah. Really good. Sugar cookie mix. Oh gosh, oh gosh. It's supposed to be room temperature, really, really soft. I put it in the microwave for a little bit too long. Okay, then I'm gonna let you crack the egg. Sure. And then you can put the Whoa, one hand egg crack. Boom, that's where I get it. Now you're just gonna mix this up for about two minutes until everything's really combined. Sounds like my old car. Now we're gonna roll out our cookies and cut our shapes. We're gonna make Olaf's little face mm -hmm. to stick on top of our ice cream. Excellent. So take a little bit of flour and put it on the surface. Go like this. Now I'm gonna knead you to knead the dough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where'd you learn all this anyway? I don't know. Oh. Nana, she's always baking. Nana, that's right. Just keep adding flour to your dough so that it's not sticky anymore. Because when you cut shapes out, you just want your dough to not stick to your hands. How many cookies are we going to make today? A million bajillion. Oh, I love cookies. <laughs> <laughs> now take your rolling pin, pew, 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 and roll out your cookie dough. I remember you used to eat cookie dough. Yeah, yeah I still yeah. do. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff. Papa Pizza, what are you doing over here? Oh yeah, that's... that's you're saving that? I'm saving this. <laughs> hey, that give so me some ready. <laughs> okay, now you're gonna take your tear shape and you're just gonna cut out a bunch of tear shapes. Now that you've got your tear shape cookies all cut out, what we're gonna do is define Olaf's head. So this pointy end right here, Dad, do you mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. That is gonna go into our ice cream. Mm -hmm. And so on this top end, the rounded part, we're just gonna, on each side, use the side of your heart to make two little cuts like this. Doop, doop. And then you're gonna round it. Because when he's smiling, that's what Olaf's head kind of looks like. Okay, once you have your cookies ready, heat your oven to 350. And bake for six minutes. And while these are baking, we are going to be making some chocolate decorations. Mm, chocolate. No, 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 no. If I had a mustache, I'd be doing this right now, like that. I bet you wish you had one. Um, no, 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 no. I do. While your cookies are baking in the oven, we are going to make chocolate decorations for Olaf's arms and his little hairs. Did he give me, he always gives bunny ears in every family photo, he will get you. Watch out, he's sneaky one, Papa Pizza. All right, so what I did is I printed off little images of his hands right here, and I'll put a link down below, so if you'd like to use the one I used, it was really easy, just in Photoshop, and then I printed off a lot of pictures of his hair. Tape these down? Yeah. Okay. They're going to tape these down. I'm just taping them on a piece of cardboard. Just any flat surface will do so they won't move. And then you're going to take a piece of wax paper and you're going to just put it on the top and tape it down. 
Then what we did is we just took a bunch of those chocolate milks and we put it in a plastic bag with a number two tip at the end, just so we'd have a little bit more control of our design. And I'll show you how to do this, how to decorate chocolate. So we're just gonna trace the image of his little hand. It does not have to be perfect because they're twigs. So if it looks a little messy, that's probably perfect. Then you're just gonna trace every little design. Once you've got all your little arms and hair pieces done, you're gonna pop these into the freezer for 10 minutes and you're gonna take your melted chocolate and our little dessert glasses and you're gonna make two dots on the side of the cup to look like his little buddings. You know, we just took these out of the oven. What do we do next? Now we are going to decorate them with a little bit of cookie icing. I've got white cookie icing mm -hmm. and black cookie icing and I'll show you what to do. So first we're just gonna do an outline and you don't need to do the bottom of the cookie because that's gonna be sticking into the ice cream. And then we're gonna make a smile because those are his cheeks, boom. And you're just gonna do this to all of your cookies and then in 10 minutes, you'll just fill it in with the white. Then you're gonna take your black and you're gonna fill in the smile. Once you've got your cookies all frosted like we've done, you are gonna get these orange slices, these little candy gummy orange slices, and you're gonna cut off the corners with your baking scissors, and you're gonna stick them right into the middle oh, to be little Olaf's nose. Check that out. And now we are gonna assemble all of our frozen treats, and we're gonna show you how to do one first. So what we're gonna do is I took some hot fudge, I put them in a plastic bag just so I could control it a little bit better. You can also use a squeezy bottle. I'm just gonna snip the tip and I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot fudge at the bottom of our cups. Now dad's gonna do two scoops of vanilla ice cream. Get it in there. And you're gonna take a little head, stick them right in the middle. Oh, he's so cute. And then you're gonna stick in the two chocolate arms and attach his little hair with a little bit of frosting on the back. Ta-da! Here are our frozen Olaf treats. They're so cute and so yummy. I hope you guys like them. Thanks for suggesting them. And thanks, Dad, for helping me out. Oh, you're I love this guy. All right, if you guys have any other suggestions for any of the nutty nummies, Nummies. Please let me know, leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make him happen. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, all the social medias that mm -hmm. dad does not have. Mm -hmm. No, nope, no, nope, Papa Pizza <laughs> doesn't have, but you guys probably do. <laughs> and I will post lots of pictures of these cute little treats. And if you make these, please send me a picture because I get a big kick out of it. I love seeing baking creations. All right, thanks again, you guys, bye-bye. Elevator. Ding. Ding.